For a lot of people, finding their ancestral roots is important, time-consuming, and a lot of fun. As Byron Scott tells us, Prince George's is home to a decades-old genealogical society. Near the end of a long road in Bowie is a treasure trove of information. That's what I put, T-O-N-E-Y. It is the Prince George's County Genealogical Society on Tulip Grove Drive. Founded in 1969, it is the oldest Maryland County Genealogical Society in continuous existence. I mean, you get land records, marriage records, death records, early settlers, military records, burial records. So I'm trying to find out the military service right now. John White traveled from Atlanta, Georgia to learn more about his Prince George's roots. He found records in this book for two distant relatives, both named Thomas White, his fifth great-grandfather and his fourth great-grandfather. You can see their names mid-screen. First record we have of them is when he enlisted in the War of 1812 in Prince George's County. It would give them a date of where the person was. Lucille Adderson has been researching here since the late 1990s. One of her main goals was to find out about her grandfather, Peter Adderson. I saw him on the 1900 census, but before that I could never find him. And I found out that in 1870 he was using the name of Gray. The society began with just a handful of books. Now there are thousands of books, records, and documents. Like this, for example. These are the records of the Columbian Harmony Cemetery, Washington, D.C. These records, 1831 to 1899. And if you take a look here, for example, on page 29, you see a name at the top here. It is George J. Beans, dying September 20th of 1898. That was my second great-grandfather. This is an 1814 medical ledger. The ledger includes names of patients as well as the cost of treatment. The society also has a family Bible from the mid-1800s. Right, we concentrate on Prince George's County, Maryland, but we, the East Coast, we get more along that line, but we've got from just, just about every state in the Union we have some information on. Library materials are always being updated. Now, these are burial records that was given to us, and we're uh, putting them online so people can check it out. The library is open Wednesdays only, and they are always looking for new members. One of the problems I think you see in societies around the country is members are getting older, and you have to be able to pull in a new group of people to get interested in it. And everybody's lives are so busy that it's hard to do right now, so we, we encourage as many people as possible. In Bowie, Byron Scott, CTV News. And for more information on how to become a member, visit pgcgs.org.